G'day, I'm Shane from MC Electrical and today I'm going to show you how to reconnect your Fronius inverter to your home Wi-Fi. You might have to do this if you change the MDN, um, if you reset your router password or you just get a new router. So let's go over to the wall and we'll have a look. We have a Fronius Simo producing just over 250 watts. We don't have many panels on this one, just for testing purposes. Um, so we'll run you through the procedure on how to get it reconnected. You have four indented buttons just below the inverter screen that correspond to the symbols above them in the screen. So this is the default screen that you'll come up against when you walk up to the inverter. If you just hit the third button to go back to the main menu and then go left twice and enter on setup. And then we need to activate the Wi-Fi access point. So down to Wi-Fi access point, press enter and press enter again to activate it. And then once that's active, it'll say the data logger ID there with a password and we are good to go. Next step will be to get uh, your any mobile device. So whether that's an iPad or an Android phone or an iPhone. In this case today, I'm gonna to use an iPhone to show you how to do it. Um, but you can also do it off a laptop as well if you like. So I'll just place it down here. Hopefully we'll be able to see. What you wanna do first is connect to that Fronius Wi-Fi access point. So go to your network settings, um, so into Wi-Fi. It'll be Fronius240. And that is your data logger ID. And the password is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which corresponds to the numbers on the screen of the inverter. And then once we've connected to the Fronius network, go back to your home screen, click on any browser that you use. And we're gonna type in an IP address for the PV Inverter homepage. So we need 192.168.250.181. And this will take you to your PV Inverter homepage where we can change some of the internal parameters of the inverter, including your network settings. So that's what the screen will default to. If you zoom in and then scroll across to the right, you'll see a little menu list. And you wanna click on settings, zoom back out. Then a new menu is displayed on the left. And we want to go up the top to network. And once that page is loaded, just ensure that the internet via WLAN is selected. It's got a blue circle around it and the dot is ticked. Um, and then we also want to confirm, make sure that you're on dynamic LAN settings. And then we have the WLAN available networks. And in this list, hopefully you'll see your home network and you can just select that home network, click set down the bottom and it'll ask you for a password. And that's where you'll enter your home Wi-Fi password. And once you've entered that, click on save, and then go up to the tick, and press the tick at the top of the page to save all the settings. And once you've done that, your inverter will be connected to your home network. So thanks for watching, hope that helps. Um, give us a call if you do get into trouble, but hopefully that should yeah, guide you most of the way through. Thanks.